A 12-year-old boy who nearly drowned inside a pool in Magna has died. Sad news in Magna today. A 12-year-old boy who fell through the ice earlier this week has died. Yeah, police say the young man hopped a fence at the Magna Rec Center, walked out onto the frozen pool, and fell through the ice. Our Dan Rescone talked with some friends and joins us now. Dan, this is a really tough time for family and friends. Yeah, you can only imagine what the family and friends, of course, are going through at this time here, Rod and Mary. Here he is, just a young 12-year-old boy, of course, out here, according to police, playing with his friend, suddenly jumps a fence for some reason, and then the next thing they know, his friend knows, he fell through the ice there. Now family and friends trying to deal with this horrific loss. It's hard in any time of passing, but, but kids are the hardest. A tough time for family and friends of young Jacques Bushman, a 12-year-old boy who tragically lost his life after falling into the Magna Rec Center outdoor swimming pool on Tuesday afternoon. According to police, he jumped the lock fence and then fell through the icy water. A friend ran for help, and rescuers pulled him from the water where it's believed he had been for 15 to 20 minutes. And I don't know that we'll ever really know 100% what happened there. You know, they were, he was on the inside of the fence, uh, what he was doing, how he was doing. There, there are various stories, but uh, I, I would imagine that, that he maybe fell and, and panicked, or maybe the water was so cold, maybe even have hit his head. I don't think it's one of those things. The young man that was with him uh, really didn't see it, so it's just. It's what happened. Last night, the family decided to take him off life support. His bishop says they were able to donate his organs. And right now, the family is trying to cope with this tragedy the best they can. He was a young man who had some, uh, some seizures earlier in life. And, and the, the wonderful part about our belief is that no longer does he have to worry about some of those physical issues that he'd had. And, and that's a very comforting thought. And the bishop telling us right now that he is uh, the oldest of seven kids there in the family. So as you can imagine, a very difficult time for the family there. I also spoke to an aunt. We'll be hearing more from her coming up on 2 News at 5 o'clock. But again, just a real tragedy here. Still trying to figure out exactly what may have happened as far as when he went over the fence there. As the bishop was saying, though, they may never know. The family, though, according to the bishop, is finding comfort that apparently he was able to donate several organs there. There's even been some chatter there on Facebook in regards to his heart being received by another young boy. As we know, whenever organs are donated, uh, you know, you tragically lose one life to save another one here. And the bishop saying the family finding very comfort, a, a lot of comfort in knowing that he could have saved some other individuals by donating his organs. Back to you guys in the studio. So, so Dan, as far as uh, the fence and everything, I guess it would have to be secure around there. It's just that he climbed over the fence. Are there safety measures there? Any concerns that maybe it could have been they could have done a better job? Yeah, you know, in regards to the fence there, I don't know if uh, Patrick, if you're able to pan over to where the lock is there or not, but you could see the fence is completely locked up. But this isn't a fence where they're, you know, they're going to put barbed wire or anything like this. Oh, yeah. This is a family rec center, right. so they're not going to go and secure it in that kind of a way. But I'm sure safety measures, you know, they're always thinking about that. But in this yeah. particular instance, we haven't heard of any kind of measures that the city is going to take differently here. Most of the time, people are just you know, understand, don't, don't jump this fence or right. don't get over there, don't get on the pool. Yeah. It could be dangerous. And so it's a, a, it's a lesson here, of course. Right. So. Sad. All right, thanks, yeah, Dan. Yeah, it really is sad. Thanks, Stan.